Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for your kind comments on the videos lately. Well, it has rained quite a bit lately. Um, the last two events I've been to, it has absolutely poured down with rain, so it's been very difficult to capture any footage. I hope you can see me okay today. It is very dark outside once again. As you can see, it's very cloudy out there, and there's a possibility it might rain. We still have the Porsche, as you can see, the Porsche is still there, and you can see that I've changed the number plate. So why have I changed the number plate? Well, I'm hoping you've guessed that already. I've had some exciting news. So the news I've had is that the Mustang that I ordered in February has finally arrived in the UK. So yes, it is here. So I'm very excited and very happy about that. So the Mustang is here. It's at the dealership, not too far from here, and it's ready for collection. It's actually ready for collection today. Unfortunately, I can't make it today, so we're going to go next Saturday, so one more week. I've waited seven months, so it's not going to hurt to wait one more week, and you're all coming with me, and as you can see, I'm already pretty excited about this. So, yeah, there's the Porsche. It's all ready to go. I've cleaned it up already, and I've changed the number plate back to the stock number plate. Well, it is going to be an amazing day when we pick it up next Saturday. I'm going to bring all of you guys along with me. I just hope the rain stays away as well. It doesn't matter if it does. I mean... We'll be picking up a Mustang, so who cares what the weather, but that would be nice if it was a sunny day, uh, or at least if it just stops raining anyway. So today, where are we off to? One of my favourite venues, the MFN, is holding the Festival of Classics show. So it's on for Saturday and Sunday, and I thought, why not go today? It's not raining at the moment, as you can see, although it is dark out there, so hopefully the rain will hold off. We're going to strap some cameras to that car out there. We're going to put a camera each side on the outside, and then I'm going to put a couple of cameras on the inside. We're going to see if we can capture some good footage on the way into the show. So I'm just going to get all the cameras on the car, and we're going to get ready and then we're going to be off guys in advance if you don't see too much vlogging from me today now it is quite windy out there today and when it's windy and I use the GoPro um, without the uh, Rode Micro because I'm attached to a motorized gimbal then unfortunately we get a lot of wind noise and any vlogging I've done when I come to edit the video normally the audio has gone from it it's no good all you can hear is the wind <laughs> So guys, if you didn't know already, that's Malcolm, the owner of the MFN. It was really nice to speak to him. So um, we're not sure what time the event's on. It's on today and tomorrow, but the flyer didn't have a time on it. So I had to guess what it's happening during the day rather than in the evening. But he's just said, speak to Gary up here and he'll let me know when it's on. So I'm just going to go and see Gary now, guys. see anyone there as I drove through so I'm driving back out the other way I've never been this way before right next to you guys right behind you is a railway track we're right we're riding along right next to it right now and uh, when if you've watched my car night video at the MFN this is where when I stood on the railway bridge up here this is where all the cars were driving down as a, a lot of them were leaving so um, you saw that in my video now I've never been out this way so I'm not actually sure where I'm going so <laughs> we could be getting lost but I think what we'll do we'll go Go for a bit of a drive today and then maybe we'll head back later on or we might even head back Sunday so we might make um, a bit of a drive of today's vlog Uh, as you can see there's a few 
cars coming and going. I don't think anybody knows what to do. I've never been this way before, so it's quite interesting for me to come this way. Now, when I come out the other end, I'm not going to have a clue where I am. I don't think I am anyway. I might pop out and go, oh, I know where this is. But um, we might spin round. Uh, I might spin round and then um, go back to the MFN because uh, see what's going on. There might be a few more cars there when I come back. Well guys, if you want to be in a vlog and you see me vlogging, just come up to me, say hi, and uh, say and let me know if you want to be in the vlog, and I'll include you in the vlog. I've got no problem with that at all, and I'd like to have you guys in the vlog. Subscribers and supporters of the channel, I would absolutely love to have you guys in the vlog with us, and it's very interesting talking to you guys, talking about your cars, talking about the camera equipment as well. Right guys, I think it's time to find somewhere to turn around and head back now. <laughs> last MFN video you'll notice I filmed on the railway bridge back there and I filmed a train coming past there's the railway track we're gonna go under a bridge yes a bridge nice sounding bridge for the uh, Mustang V8 when we get it so that will sound good under there we're definitely bringing it this way but we're just gonna go under a railway bridge so we're just gonna go under this railway bridge and this is gonna sound fantastic in the 5 litre V8 we're not gonna rev this up we've just passed some horses and I don't want to scare them so we want to be considerate to other people but under here this is gonna be great there's no houses around here so that will be really good under here so there you can see over there by the truck is Malcolm guys he's just uh, organizing where all the vehicles are going at the moment Wow look at the custom paintwork on this truck guys and a gorgeous PT cruiser behind it up here but people are so much more friendlier they seem to be a lot happier up here Depending on what event I go to, or whether I'm vlogging or, or just walking out and about vlogging, I've got three different camera setups I currently use. And when we get back, I'll show you those setups so you can see what we're using for the events. Because I have shown you in the past what cameras I've purchased and what I use and what audio I use, but you haven't seen lately, you haven't seen for a while what I'm actually using. 
some of the camera equipment now. Um, I just had a quick look at the footage which I've taken earlier on, which you guys have been viewing uh, at the start of the video, and it looked a little bit dark. So I've turned the light on up above, and hopefully if I stand underneath here, you can see me a bit better. Um, so I had a delivery just a little while ago, you can see here. It's quite a light package. I think it should rattle a bit, but hey guys, do you remember? It's arrived, but what is it? So <laughs> if you've seen that video, but no, we're not gonna do that again. We're not gonna get the saw out. Um, it's not one of those massive boxes just with a couple of screws in. This time, uh, the item is a lot smaller than the box, you'll see, but it's packaged quite well. It should rattle a bit, but if it's the item I think it is, it is definitely camera equipment. I've ordered quite a bit of camera equipment from Amazon, and this one is supposed to arrive today, and it has. I wanted it earlier on for the MFN, for the event which uh, we just went to. So hopefully, we'll go back to the MFN later on, and Helen might be joining us, or if not, we'll go tomorrow, and Helen should be coming along. Along with us as well so that should be quite good being as we're not vlogging any cars today this gives me a really good chance to actually uh, talk to you guys which I really enjoy but I don't get much chance to do lately because it keeps raining I can't put the audio on or it's very windy so let's go and have a look guys and I'll just take you into the room um, next door and I'll show you some of the camera equipment we've been using so here we go surprise so what have we got we've got two soft boxes here now what happens is i normally sit at this table here i'm trying to show you an item we've got a black tabletop and you can't see anything because all the equipment is black and it's on a black top a black work surface just like this one over here so what i've done is i've just put a tablecloth on there for now don't worry we will find a better solution hang on it will come over here you won't see me we will find a better solution don't worry but for now that's what we've done so this is what we've got so far and i want to show you what camera equipment we're using so this is the dji osmo which i lose use <laughs> use if i can say it at several events so this is the z axis here so it's stabilized in three axes there's one two three and then i purchased this fourth axis so this one is now stabilized in four axes and i've got the sunshade with the smart phone there so i can see what's going on and i've got the microphone there now this is the other piece of equipment which i've just recently started to use so this is a just a normal cheap handle off of amazon and it's got a screw thread in the bottom so you can put it on a tripod here is a case so the GoPro goes inside that case there and then I use a Rode Micro okay guys now let me show you the third piece of equipment I use and that is this the motorized gimbal now if you watch the custom culture blast off the, um, and also the JAE 2016 my last two videos in the pouring rain this is what I was using I was using a GoPro without a, a waterproof housing and of course this was getting wet and right inside that switch there and I was also using this gimbal and this gimbal it gets the water in the buttons there and this is why it packs up every time the water gets in there and it packs up and there is water all over the wiring here so every time it gives me about 20 minutes to half an hour packs up will not work again I get at home I dry it out over um, 18 to 24 hours and it starts working again anyway what we do is we put these batteries inside this gimbal so it's those electric cigarette um, batteries and two of those go inside here there's a button on the end you press that and the blue light starts flashing away then you press this button on the side and I'll let you guys watch it will come to life as I press it so you can now twist the handle and it will smoothly pan around this is why I like using this and you can also turn the handle near enough whichever way you want there's loads of options it's also got some different modes it's got a locking mode you can lock it onto a certain position of a car and you can turn around and move and that will always face that position of the car as you're moving away let me just turn that off a minute there you go that's safe to put down so now what i was going to do was i was going to use today i was hoping to use this i took this with me so we've got a pole an extension pole you put that in the end here and you just screw it into the end it comes with this adapter this adapter here isn't part of 
this gimbal. The, this comes with these poles, okay? And you screw that in, they're carbon fiber and they're very lightweight, and it now makes it a lot longer, okay? So if we put two of these on, I can then get those really good panning shots that we screw that on there. So now, if we turn it on, so I'll let you see it come to life. So we press that switch there, hold it, and it comes to life. Now, I can stand back and I can take some really smooth panning shots all the way around to the car. This will be ideal. So if we imagine this is the car here and this is the grass, what we do is I can hold that down on the ground without having to keep bending down on the ground and I can just do some really nice low panning shots. You have to be careful though, when you turn this handle up like this, notice this motor here gets in the way of the lens. So you have to be careful how you hold it. So you're better off holding it at an angle where you think it cannot see it. Or you can use your mobile phone, you can have a mobile phone attached up here and you can be watching the mobile phone to see what footage you've got. On here you can see there's two buttons if I show you there, the camera, if I press the up button, the camera goes up. If I press the down button, the camera goes down. Okay, now when it's up in the air, I can't reach it. Okay, so let me just turn that off a minute. Now, what we have here is an extension lead with a remote control. So this extension lead, you purchase it separately and you plug it in the side. Now I'll just show you. There's a little slot on the side there and you just plug that in like so and then you turn it on so if I hold the button down there you go and now the camera should go up and down so there you go it goes down with that button and up with that button so it's got a locking button so you can lock off the buttons all together and you've got a purple up button and a grey down button so if I press the purple up button now you'll see the camera go up and if I press the other button you'll see it go down so I can hold the pole right back here and I can, here you go, see now I'm not cheating guys, I can hold it here and the camera will start going up and then you'll see it going down. They recommend you only use three of these poles, so there's two poles that come in a kit together there and they recommend you only use three. Now, I had a box arrive a little while ago and this camera, what you're watching me on, just packed up when I just did this. I've already done this once, okay, and the camera packed up, see, so I'm having to do this again. So the box has already been opened. That uh, instant fail. Okay, so what was in the box? There were two more of these poles, okay, so I only want one of them. But you screw that in there, and now when we turn it on, there we go, we now have a much better, a longer setup. Ten to need to hold it here and it gives you really nice smooth panning shots so you could pan along a car like this where you can go up in the air like this right across an event and uh, it would be brilliant, it would just be fantastic. So I want to use this at the MFN. Here are two session cameras. This is what I've been doing some of the recording with on the car. They're tiny little cameras. You can see how big they are compared to a normal GoPro. So I'm using two of these session cameras. They tend to record quite a bit dark. So the picture looks a bit dark, so I don't use them too much, but I put them on the car. I put them on the car today and some of the shots you saw are from these. And uh, sometimes I don't use the footage because it's just way too dark. But that's what a lot of the footage is coming from lately. I've got two of these, one for each side of the car, and I move them around the car. I've got some mounts on the car for those. I'm gonna do three tests here. I'm gonna let you hear from this GoPro here what it sounds like with the GoPro, um, with no audio equipment on at all, okay, uh, just the internal microphone, then I'm going to let you hear what it's like with the Rode Micro on, and then I'm going to let you hear what it's like with a dive housing on. So this is the dive housing, basically it's waterproof, so the camera can go in it, but it can't fit on that gimbal, so that gimbal will not take it in the waterproof housing. And if I just carry it around on a selfie stick and walk around, the footage will look terrible, and also you won't be able to hear me and you'll hear why soon so I'm just going to do the test now okay guys this is the audio from the GoPro Hero 3 Plus without an external microphone this is the audio from a GoPro Hero 3 Plus using a Rode Video Micro with a dead cat on this is the audio of the GoPro Hero 3 Plus inside a dive housing 
Well guys, you've heard the three different samples. You've heard the GoPro with uh, using the internal mic, you've heard it with the Helsen, and you've heard it with the Video Micro. Now, two things they recommend it, over picture quality is to have good lighting, which hopefully that's been doing a good job of, although the peak of this cap is probably blocking out my face. It causes a shadow. I've noticed that before when I've tested the lights out. And the other good thing is to have really good audio. So they recommend you have lighting and audio over picture quality any day. I've got a second channel okay so yeah there is a second channel look in the description below click on that at this video in the description and there's a link to my second channel what is the second channel well as you guys know I like camera equipment and as you often hear me say you are watching me on the GoPro Hero 3 Plus which you are right now funnily, funnily I can't say it funnily enough so Go to that uh, link in the description and you'll go to my second channel. If you like the videos, there's two videos on there. One's a channel trailer, just a quick one what I've made up. And the second one is, um, a, well, I won't tell you what it is. You need to go and see it. Okay, so there's a second video on there. So if you like uh, camera equipment, go and, uh, go and uh, see it. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to it. So if you want to see more um Anything to do with GoPros, it's anything and everything to do with GoPros. Tutorials, tips, techniques, the lot. So if you like to see GoPro um, videos then and want tips on GoPros, then subscribe to that channel and I'll make more videos. And there is another reason. Sometimes uh, YouTubers get their channels blocked. And if you have your channel blocked and um, uh, by YouTube, then you've got no way of contacting all your subscribers and they don't know what's going on. So if you have a second channel, then you can get in contact with all your subscribers. Now if you have a second channel with the same account, they block all your, I've been told that they block all of your channels and then you still can't contact your subscribers. So what I've done, I've created a second YouTube account with a new channel and then that way if one channel gets blocked I can contact you all through the other channel. So if you go and subscribe to the other channel, if anything ever happens to this channel then I can contact you all. So that's part of the reason why there's a second channel. Okay, So I hope I've made that clear and I hope understood. But yeah, go and check out the channel. The link's in the description below and I hope you uh, like it and give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much guys. I hope you've enjoyed the journey out in the Porsche today. It'll be one of the last times we see the Porsche. So I thought it'd be nice for you guys to see that anyway. I hope you're excited about the news with the Mustang that we'll be picking up in a week's time. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing the camera equipment that we use and the setup we're currently using at the moment. But until next time, guys, smile, be happy. You are all awesome, and I will see you all soon. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>